Today we're responding to your feedback. You told us you wanted to know more about Palagrip. Well, hang on. We'll tell you everything you need to know and more in this episode of Land Tech Now. Hi, I'm Allison Myers and welcome to Land Tech Now. Today we want to welcome back Curtis Martin, designer and engineer of Palagrip. Welcome back, Curtis. Thank you, Allison. Well, Curtis, we had an overwhelming response to our podcast on Palette Grip, and today we kind of want for our viewers to go and delve into some more detail on Palette Grip so they can really understand what it is to lock your load to the palette. Okay. If you can, please review for us unique points of Palette Grip. Sure. Grip is to merely take the bottom edge of the film and strengthen it by rolling it into a cable, mm -hmm. and then taking that cable and directing it back down to the lowest point possible so that we can reach the pallet and place that cable and film on the pallet at about an inch to an inch and a half below the top deck board mm -hmm. and then wrapping that uh, across the pallet and the load tying them together. So you're rolling up but you're also driving down Correct. and is that drive down different from our standard roper? Yes, it is, because on our standard ropers, we, we don't drive down. We merely just gather the film up into a, uh, into a rope. Well, how is the drive down <clears throat> beneficial, for example, um, for, our, for stretch wrapping? Well, it's particularly in a, in a straddle machine, uh, you lose that amount of space uh, with the film when you drive the, the film up into a cable. And so without able, being able to drive it back down, mm -hmm. you, you are merely moving the bottom edge of the film up to a higher position and possibly not able to capture the pallet. So you're not going to be able to capture the pallet, Absolutely. for example, on, on straddle or rotary arm machines. That's correct. Unless you have this drive down. Right. That's great. Mm -hmm. So some of our customers want to talk about um, where to place it, because you talk about location a lot. Right. Um, how do you know where to place the, the web onto your pallet? Well, ideally, you want to position the, the cable about an inch to an inch and a half below the top of the pallet, and that will capture it directly below the top runner boards, which is the best place for it. And that leaves the... Uh, the openings for the fork truck to still pass in and mm -hmm. to pick up the load without damaging the film. But I have different size pallets. How do I know if I'm able to place it? For example, what if I have four inch pallets or five inch? What pallet sizes does pallet grip work for? Does it work for all of them? Basically any pallet that's, in, that's uh, standard in the industry can be used. Um, the better pallets would be a taller pallet. The five inch pallets are better than your shorter ones because we're able to put more film in the rope because we can actually bring the, the, or not the rope, the cable up a little higher onto the pallet. But, but if I have a four inch pallet, it's, it's going to work It's still very effective. Yes, very much effective. And uh, the only compromise is just a little bit less film in the cable, but it's still adequate to uh, capture the load. So Curtis, what types of loads is pallet grip suitable for? Well, basically any load that is shipped on a pallet is, uh, is a candidate for pallet grip because uh, the, the principle is to keep the load from shifting on the pallet. And so that's what it's designed to do. Uh, basically any type of pallet that you have, any load, uh, light, heavy, um, depending on the profiles, uh, they, they all are pretty much suited for the pallet grip. They all have the same thing in common. You don't want your load to shift on the pallet. What if I have inboard or outboard conditions? Well, you want to minimize that as much as possible, but pallet grip is still very effective in, in minimizing the amount of shift that the load uh, has on the pallet. Okay. What if I have different types <coughs> of pallets? For example, I have uh, plastic pallets. Does pallet grip work for that? Yes, it's, it's very effective on, on pallet, uh, plastic pallets as well. We have great results with it. Okay, so it works on plastic pallets as well as wood pa Absolutely. pallets. That's great. So, Curtis, under what circumstances would I not need pallet grip? Well, if, you're, if you don't have a pallet, then you don't need pallet grip. So, no pallet, no pallet grip? That's right. What about customers that have slip sheets? For example, some customers have slip sheets and they have a two inch tab that they fold up and want to capture. Would pallet grip work for those customers? Well, yes, it would work okay, uh, although it's not necessary. 
Um, conventional wrapping will work just as well as it always has with, with that type of application. So uh, we can uh, modify the pallet grip with a tooling change that would uh, basically allow it to wrap as a normal, as normal. stretch wrapper so without pallet you can pallet disengage grip. the pallet grip. That's right. Some of our customers use pop-ups. They lift the load up to be able to capture all the way around the load. What do you think about that? Well, some people feel like that's the way to lo effectively lock the load to the pallet. However, load lifts are very expensive devices. And the notion of wrapping the load completely underneath the pallet is the way to go is not necessarily true. Because the fork truck driver, when he picks that load up, he has to bust through that film in order mm. to get underneath the load. And so that compromises the, the containment of the film that is on the load. However, pallet grip works much differently in that it doesn't uh, completely wrap the pallet, but just enough of the pallet to be effective using that cable and the remaining web and leaving that, uh, the runners open for the fork truck driver to pick up. Thank you for joining us today, Curtis. Are there any final thoughts you'd like to leave us with? Well, Allison, really it's all about getting our loads from point A to point B in as-made condition, and pallet grip is a very effective tool in accomplishing that. Thank you very much. For more information about stretch wrapping, check out our website at landtech.com.